Pahang is first established as a fishing village but now has evolved into a tourist destination in Penang Island. And today, we are bringing you to the Penang Batik Factory, the true cottage industry in the manufacturing of traditional batik. When we were young, we picked up, we established the company in the year 1973. Yeah, and we established it and uh, we start small and slowly we build up the, the, the company. So we are manufacturing, uh, we manufacture, we do uh, a little bit of export uh, in the 90s and the 80s, the 70s, we do the export, but now we don't. Uh, now we concentrate on local sales. Uh, Rosing, also known as Dhamma, is a solid form of raising obtained from pine and is an important ingredient in block brim pate. Dia dari pokok, getah pokok eh. Dia tu kena mix. Kalau kita pakai dia saja, kan kalau saya pakai ini saja boleh, tapi saya boleh angkat keluar habis kepok tu dia angkat dia boleh keluar dia tak dekat dekat atas dan masuk ni dia getah dia sekali mix jadi macam gam kan tengok dia dekat jadi 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 macam air kita cedok bubur dalam drum bila bubur dalam drum dia cukup keras dia kering kita masak air panas kita rendam drum tu dalam air panas bagi dia loose dia lilin dia kena air panas dia nak cair cair keliling Kita terbalik dia, dia keluar sekuai. Dia keluar 20 kilo. Lepas tu kita potong dia, bawah dia kena macam ni lah. Kalau saya turut, bawah dia nanti kotor. Kita potong-potong buang. Kita ambil dia, kita mix dia. Mix dengan ini, dengan ini, kita guna balik. Okay. Recycle akan jadi color ni lah. Okay, kita tengok bukan color ni lah, tak sama kan. Eh? Recycle jadi color ni. The most popular and traditional method in manufacturing batik is the traditional hand drum batik. Hand drum batik is drawn and colored by hand, which result in exclusive design of multicolored shapes. They have been to a size of, for example, like this, kurang kurangnya dua hari. Kalau saiz sapu tangan tu satu hari sudah siap. Step ni lah, mencanting batik ni lah, draw dengan lilin ni. Sebab kita nak kontrol apa, suhu lilin. Kan, kalau ter, panas sangat pun nanti tak dapat nak lukis. Kalau sejuk pula lilin tak dapat apa, keras lah. Hand drum batik is restricted to a maximum size of 9 inch square print and to a maximum of 4 color dies. The design is either sketched by pencil which follow an artwork or free drawn by an artist. Besides the traditional hand drum batik, there is also another type of batik which is called the modern hand block printed batik. The printing process begins by stamping the desired motif repetitively on the fabric with molten wax by using a metal block. The wax block out the area of the fabric to be retained white or for the consecutive prints while the exposed area will be dyed with the first color applied. 
Metal blocks are handcrafted according to desired motif. It transfers the molten wax onto the fabric while creating designs on both sides of the fabric. Accuracy while making the print is a must to maintain the consistency of the wax applied onto the fabric. The process of chanting bate is similar to that of hand-drawn bate. The desired painting is drawn on the material by means of the chanting, an instrument that is made of copper for its cup, while the handle is made of wood. The colors are then applied with a brush. Colors are applied individually on the required design, including the background color. Colored fabric are allowed to be dry before proceeding to the fixing process. Dalam, uh, dalam lima jam macam tu, then kita akan ni lah, kita akan boil it lah, kita akan rebus buang demi uh, buang lilin. Lepas kita rebus buang lilin, then kita akan ni lah, cuci lah, cuci. Lepas tu kita jemur dah siap lah, okey lah. Ha, kalau bila dah siap proses, you akan tengok lah wax line tu semua akan jadi warna putih. dry and will be cut into certain measurement according to customer requirement. We create the awareness program yeah. that what you are uh, doing this morning. Uh, we uh, would want the uh, students that come in or the guests they have time yeah, and they can participate in the activity and uh, from there they will learn and understand yeah, our culture, our art and craft. Yeah. The batik is uh, normal but uh, uh, we hope that the, the, local, uh, the local people uh, and the foreign the visitors would uh, appreciate yeah, batik. See, Bati is a Malaysian culture and uh, the local people has to, to understand and know yeah, the art yeah, and appreciate it. Yeah, it, is, it is our Malaysian culture. Well, well there are company that comes in and, and order, there are a lot from, from the uh, factories, the hotels, the locals, they held events, yeah, or uh, people will buy as gifts. and it seems like a lot of work and that everything is a unique piece. You, like, you can bring out your creativity easily. All the old tradition is important to each country. If it is a tradition of Malaysia, then you have to uh, maintain and uh, take it to the next generation. Otherwise, uh, the art and craft is lost and you will just see in the pictures only. Batik ni ke kita jangan pupuskan lah. Kita kena naik lagi dengan 
peningkatan Kita mungkin buat trend baru lah Idea baru lah Color baru lah eh, Design-design yang lain sikit lah Di perempuan baru lah sekarang Generasi muda banyak so, Korang minat ni Ya Banyak bukan kata sikit lah Banyak kurang What is batik? The traditional batik, not the imitation batik. A lot of people use tra uh, imitation batik, like screen printing, digital print, and many others. Yeah. So people will come and see, and then they, they, they appreciate the art. They will appreciate the art. Yeah. If they don't see, they don't know how it's made, they don't appreciate. Yeah. Like you have made, then you appreciate. Yeah. You see the process, then you appreciate.